Hey there, this is Mark from Set My Site, and this is a quick video that goes over how different devices deal with background images. So a background image is an image that's going to span the entirety of the screen size that's being used to access the website. So here I have a desktop, and if I made a background image on the website, the background image would span the entire size of the desktop, top to bottom, left to right. And so you can see that on a desktop, uh, the orientation is kind of horizontal. The longest side is on the top and bottom, the shorter sides are on the left and right. So you'd want to find a horizontal image to fit into your background on desktop viewing. However, on mobile, it's the exact opposite. Your longest sides are on the left and right, making this a vertical rectangle. And so for mobile, if you wanted your background images to span again, the entirety of the device size, so this entire background, uh, then you'd be better off using a vertical image. So let me show you what that looks like. First, I'm going to upload a horizontal image to our, uh, to our uh, desktop size. So I'll grab this image here, which is horizontal in nature, and that image is going to look great. All I need to do is just crop it so that it fits the entirety of the background here. All right, so that's going to span the entire background. And you can see here that this image looks really good on my desktop computer. Now, if I'm accessing that website that has that background on my phone, and it's using that same image for the background, when I'm viewing that on my phone, it's going to span the entirety of the device size, right? So we have to crop this until it's top to bottom, left to right. It fills up the entire background. So, it, so again, so that my entire screen that I'm using is filled with this background image. So we'll crop that. And now you can see how this image is going to look on a phone. It doesn't look good at all. You can't even see the lady. The guy's cut halfway through the middle. So this is not an, a, an appropriate background image if we want our image to look excellent on mobile. Now, conversely, if we wanted to upload a specific image um, and we wanted it to look very good on mobile, Let's use a vertical image or a portrait style image, what we call it, and see how that looks. Here we go. We'll use this gal, we'll crop her. This is much more appropriate sizing because the image orientation itself is already vertical. So it's not gonna look bad when we crop it down to make it an entire background image. So you can see she looks great, you can see her face, you can see part of the computer and the imaging is, uh, yeah, the, is, is kind of nice. So let's take a look at that same image on a desktop computer. Let's upload. Here's that image again, so we'll use that. All right, again, we have to crop it so that it fills the entire space of the screen size, because it is a background image, so it must fill the entire background of that screen. And so that would be right here center crop because that's what it'll do by default and now you can see we only see her teeth so there's no one image size that will fit all devices right you kind of have to pick and choose your battles between mobile and desktop to see what looks best um, and uh, you know that's really kind of what it boils down to now we traditionally design uh, for desktop first because desktop tends to be more intricate and there's a lot more detail and a lot of times we can set it up so that, you know, the background image is removed from mobile or we replace the background styling image that spans the entire width of the website uh, from, or I'm sorry, the entire screen size. And we say, why don't you just respect the aspect ratio? So for example, what that might look like if we decided to say no background image styling, but respect the aspect ratio on mobile, that would give you something a lot closer to this where you have the entire image here and it's respecting the aspect ratio it's not trying to fill the entire device size using background image styling it's simply adding it as an existing image and and showing you how it would normally look and so that's one way that we can kind of have the best of both worlds we can use background styling on desktop and then simply place the image so that it maintains the aspect ratio on mobile. That's one way to get around it. Uh, so 
Anyway, hopefully this has been helpful, and please let me know if you have any questions. Thanks.